Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here is a very simple problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. Okay, so let's read it. It says that the volume of the Rubik's cube below is 216 centimeter cube. What is the length of one edge of the cube? Okay, so what is given to us is that the volume of the cube is 216 cubic centimeters or centimeter cube, and we have to find the length of one edge of the cube. Now do note here that this is a cube, which means that the length of the cube is equal to the breadth of the cube, and that's equal to the height of the cube. So if this is the length, okay, then it's equal to the breadth. So the length and the breadth are the same size, and that's also equal to the height. So the height is also the same size as the length and the breadth. Now we know that the volume of any cuboid, okay, cuboid, not cube. The volume of any cuboid is equal to the product of its length, its breadth, and its height, right? So the volume of a cuboid is length times breadth times height. Now, how does it change when we're talking about the volume of a cube? Well, the volume of a cube, okay, volume of a cube is equal to the length times the breadth. Now, the breadth is the same as the length. So, we write length times length, okay, times the height. Now, the height is again the same as the length. So, we write that down as length times length times length, okay. So, the volume of a cube is equal to length times length times length. Now, given the volume, how do we find out the length of one edge of the cube? So what we know here is that the volume of this cube is equal to 216 cubic centimeters. From here, how do we find out what the length is equal to? Well, there are a few ways of doing this. One is to think of a number, okay, which when multiplied by itself and multiplied by itself one more time, will give you 216. So you can start by, you know, say 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, so that's of no use. You can start by 2. 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's 8, so that's also not good. How about 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on? So you can guess and check and see if you get 216, okay? So let's see if we try, say, 4. Well, 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 again is 64, so that's also not right. Okay, how about 5? Well, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 again is 125. So we are close, but not there yet, okay? How about 6? Let me try. 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 6, well, I don't know, I'm going to have to do that here. So 36 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 and 3 carried over, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21. So here you go, 6 times 6 times 6 gives you 216. So the length of the cube is 6 centimeters. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. That's uh, the guess and check. Okay, so this is method number one. Okay, how about if you're allowed to use a calculator? Then it's really simple. All you have to do is, you know that you have to find out the cube root of 216 centimeter cube, okay? When volume is equal to length times length times length, we can also write that down as volume is equal to length to the power of 3 because we're going to multiply length by itself 3 times, okay? So length times length times length again. So you raise it to the power of 3. This means that the number has to be multiplied by itself three times, okay? Now, if volume is equal to the cube of length, we call it the cube of length, then the length, okay, this length is then equal to the cube root of volume. So this is the technical part of it. So we write that as the cube root of volume. So all we have to do now, if we have a calculator at hand, then method number two, we have to find out the cube root of the volume, okay? So here is a calculator, or well, you're gonna have to go to the scientific version of it because you cannot find the cube root in uh, the regular version, the standard version. Okay, so you then type in 216, 
and then you press this key, okay, which has a root sign and then three written inside it. So you press that and here you go. You see cube root of 216 is 6. So here is your answer again. It's 6 centimeters. Okay, this is each centimeters. This is also centimeters and this is also centimeters. Okay, so the cube root of 216 centimeter cube is 6 centimeters. So there you go. The length of one edge of the cube is 6 centimeters. Well, sometimes your school might not allow you to use a calculator. So in that case, you know, here is another method. What we used to get during, you know, my days in school is uh, this sort of a table that was called a cube root table. Okay. All right. Now, the cube root table has a column for number, which in our case is uh, the volume. Okay. So the number is the volume. So we go and look up where 216 is because that's the volume that's given to us, right? 216. And then there is a column for cube root, okay? Which in our case will give us the length of the cube. So we go to 216 and then look at the corresponding cube root, okay? And here we see that it is equal to 6. So if what is given to you is a cube root table, then you use that cube root table to again find the same answer, which is cube root of 216 centimeter cube is equal to 6 centimeters. So the answer 6 centimeter is the length, it's also the breadth and it's also the height. Now if you wanted to check, well you could do 6 times 6 times 6 and that would give you 216 and that's uh, the volume. Okay, Okay. I guess uh, that's that about this uh, simple word problem. I hope you got what I taught and I hope that now you'll go and do some practice as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.